crypto mining could strain the already shaky grid. Susan Lee is there, live at Riot Blockchain's new Bitcoin mining site in Austin. Susan, how can they help stabilize the state's power grid? Well, I can tell you that the Texas power system is pretty tricky because it requires really a perfect balance of supply and demand. And you saw that play out in those 2021 winter rolling blackouts when homes couldn't get heat. So this time around, in this record-breaking heat wave, Texas wants to make sure that the air conditioners continue to cool. And they're turning to a new source, and that is cryptocurrency mining and Bitcoin miners. So this is the largest Bitcoin mining facility in North America run by Riot Blockchain. So let's talk to CEO Jason Less. And how exactly are you helping out the Texas power grid? So Riot made significant investment and made significant commitments in the power grid here. And that has driven more generation and helped stabilize the grid. But with that energy we secured, we have the unique property of being flexible enough to provide that power back to the grid when it is in high demand. Right. So basically, you power up when there's excess capacity and you power down when there's a lot of usage and the state needs more electricity for the, to, in order to cool the homes across this, uh, the state. Exactly. And that's very unique to Bitcoin mining. Not most, most large energy loads cannot just sh shut on and off you know, throughout the day. We have the flexibility because Bitcoin blocks come 10 minutes apart and that's as much work as we're doing. Yeah, and also, Stu, you know, they've uh, they purchased their electricity and their power usage on a 10-year contractual basis already. But if you come a little bit closer, I'm going to throw it back to you, but I just want to show you how Bitcoin and crypto is done here. Look at this. This is called mineral oil coolant that cools down these hard drives that need to calculate the quintillions of algorithms and calculations in order to mint that and mine that one Bitcoin because it, apparently it requires nine years of household energy use to just get one Bitcoin these days. Back to you. Yeah, I heard that. Susan, very interesting stuff. Susan Lee, 